Hey guys, so I've not long put up to a um, my first camp since I've left Kakadu. I'm about 60 k's north of Catherine. Um, on Wiki Camps, the spot's called Edith River Camp. All right, it's free, nothing surround. There's no water in the creek. It's bone dry. Um, the only good thing I guess is I got the spot to myself minus a thousand flies. But um, there's not much out here. It's just literally a, a proper bush camp. But um, it's free and it's about 15, 20 k from Edith Fall. So tomorrow morning, I'll um, go check them out. But um, this is what we got. So, sun going down by the trees, car. Got the fire going. And then um, we're literally in the bush. No one around. That's what we got. CC. Cheers. You know those moments where you really wish you had a whole waterfall to yourself? Well, uh, today's that day for me. I've just hiked to the top of Edith Falls Plunge Pool. It's uh, about 2.5k return walk. I kind of jogged up here. And um, yeah, there's uh, no one around at all. It's nice and early in the morning. So. I thought I'd go for a quick swim before anyone else gets here. How speck is that?
Hey guys, I've just spent the last two nights camped up at a free camp called Flat Rock. It's about 20 kilometers north of uh, Catherine. I've literally done nothing but sit down and fish and shoo away flies. But minus the flies, it has been super peaceful. Um, the plan tomorrow, I'm going to move on and head down to Catherine Gorge and do one of the walks there. I believe it's the Butterfly Gorge walk. And then from there, I'll uh, go to the hot springs in Catherine. And if I got time, I'll shoot on down to Mataranka and Bitter Springs for the night. But uh, the plan for the rest of the Arvo is just to basically have the fire burn out. And then uh, from there, I'll just enjoy the view. And that's pretty much me for the rest of the afternoon. So, can't complain. So I'm super bummed. I woke up super early this morning, packed up camp, moved from Flat Rock and headed to Catherine Gorge to find out that all the walks are closed for the next four or five days because of high fire risks. So the plan now is I'm not gonna hang around for a couple of days. Um, I'm gonna head into Catherine, do the hot springs, stock up some groceries, and then I'm gonna head on down to Mataranka and Bitter Springs. So I'm bummed, but I just can't justify paying or trying to find free camps for the next four or five days. And even there, the lady said there's a chance it could go longer, so I'm out. So I'm staying at Devil's Marbles Campground for the night. It's $3.30 per person to stay. Um, it's been an hour's drive south of Tennant Creek. Um, pretty much drive in, find a camp spot, uh, grab a form, fill your details out, drop your money in the envelope, put it in a box and you're good to go. There's toilets around, but there's nothing out. So no running water, no bins, no showers of any sort. Um, just some drop toilets, so do come prepared for that. There's quite a few walks around though. Um, because I couldn't do the Catherine Gorge walk, I've opted to take the four kilometer walk today, which is an hour and a half return. It's only graded as level two, so that's pretty good. But um, you're pretty much just walking around looking at all these awesome boulder formations, so it's pretty cool. Check it out. Alright, that wraps up this week's video guys. Make sure you tune in next week. I head across to the old Red Center Way. I check out Simpsons Gap. I swim one of the most coldest water holes in my entire life. I hike up Serpentine Gorge. I find the most amazing free camp where I spend a couple nights. I then spend the next day exploring Ormiston Gorge and its surrounds. For everyone following along so far, thank you very much for your support. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you guys next week.